This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Today we're going to talk about mass multi-crew aircraft and how, if any, there may be a pathway to get them into DCS. I've got with me Captain Gaming, say hello Gaming. Hello. And RC, say hello RC. Hello. Uh, Captain Gaming joins me on the unofficial mods, especially when looking at the Hercules, which is the first possible aircraft that we think could be mass multi-crew. First of all, the scope of this video, we are looking at what could possibly be a pathway to get mass body crew aircraft into DCS. This is not aimed anywhere at ED, this is aimed at you guys, the community, and talking about what you guys could do to make this a reality, if that's what you want. So this comes from the relatively new unofficial mod, the Hercules, which is in DCS now and has become very popular. I didn't think there was really any scope for mass multi crew aircraft in DCS at all until the Hercules came out and then all of a sudden a little light went on in my brain and well maybe there is a market if that's the right word an amount of people that would be interested in it. So we've already got multi crew aircraft in DCS that work fine the F-14, the C-101 and, and other ones that can have up to two crew members. Mass multi crew is simply the same but having the option to have more than two human crew members in a single vehicle. The first thing is we need to find out how many people would actually be interested in it. If it's only a few hundred of people making lots of noise about this, then it's probably not worth doing. If it's many thousands, then it probably is worth pursuing at least. So first, please look in the video description, find a straw poll, click on the straw poll and answer. Are you interested in buying or supporting mass multi crew aircraft in DCS? Do you not care or do you think it's a bad idea? And let's get a rough idea of the figures that we're looking at. Second, let's look at what I think is going to be the best pathway to realize mass multi crew aircraft in DCS. So the traditional idea of just moaning on public forums that I want this, I want this, I want this, I don't think it's going to work. I think Nick and Kate and co have got enough on their plate at the moment to worry about people moaning about having some extra planes, not just some extra planes, but you know, some something really different. And rightfully so, I don't think moaning should be rewarded anyway. My idea would be to ask ED for the absolute minimal work that would be needed to support this. The vast majority of the other work, I think, has to be done by the community. I don't think, like I said, ED is just going to say, oh, people want a Hercules or a Starlifter or whatever and go make it. I just don't think it's realistic. The minimum, I think, ED would have to do to allow this to work would be to A, finish off the existing multi careers. I'm sure they're doing anyway, but, you know, just an obvious thing to say. Gazelle, last time we tried it, two-man multi-crew wasn't working properly, and uh, it's still implementing the QE multi-crew, so we'll get that finished first. And then B, introduce new code to support more than two human multi-crew. That code has to be in there, and has to be accessible, like the two-man multi-crew is, by unofficial mod makers. Once that would be done, then I think the majority of the work hopefully be done by the community, you guys, people like Anubis who have gone and used their proactive brains to go and make the Hercules, which I didn't think could be done, but to an extent it's been done and done well. So what would they need to do? What would we need to do, sorry, the community? A, help to create more mods like Hercules that can utilize mass multi-crew. B-17s, B-25s, whatever, C-5s, uh, C-17s, whatever it is you guys want. Someone's got to go out there and make the unofficial mods first, I think, for this to be a reality. How can you help them? Well, give them oxygen. I'm sitting here making videos about the Herc to give the guy as much oxygen as possible to help him make Herc. And that works because people find out about the Herc and say, oh, I can help, I can help. Contact the guy who made it and, you know, give him some extra resources. As well as that, we can introduce things like PayPal's that help financially support people. I mean, it's mostly community like the Hercules. He, Anubis made it, but now all these people are coming, making liveries, helping with the countermeasures, yeah. helping create RWR. It's Exactly what I remember you said last week when we were recording. Anubis is looking for someone to help, help him come and code the, what was it, the countermeasures? RWR. Yeah, RWR. And, now, and now we have it. And now we have it. So this is how these things work. And all be done by you guys being proactive, productive, and positive. Secondly, if one or more of these mods became very successful, let's say one of them got really good, like, for instance, the MB339 did. If that happened and it was recognized and picked up by WAGs or whoever, then maybe that dev, Anubis or whoever, could create a professional design team. As you all know, to create an actual module in DCS, you have to have a professional design team set up and ready. Maybe they could do that, and then maybe they could approach ED and convert it into a third-party module. 
Uh, now, this is possible, and we know, because the MB339 was an unofficial, unsupported module. We covered it, and other people covered it, and gave it as much life and as oxygen as we could. More and more people downloaded it. And then the people who make the MB339 said, OK, I'm going to create a professional team and approach WAGS or whoever, and it got accepted, and it's now becoming a fully paid module. Now, paid or not, I don't really care, but what I'm interested in is having it in the proper game so that we can have it in our multiplayer servers and stuff like that. So that's my idea. Let's find out how many people want it. And that's what I think is the best pathway to realize mass multi-career aircraft in DCS. Gaming first, then I'll see any other thoughts, pushback, whatever. Definitely, I think I think it would be very helpful to the community that ED shows that, you know, they recognize the uh, want for this type of aircraft. Mm -hmm. And then they go and take the first step in creating such code or the ability to do this once ed shows that okay we recognize your guys's passion for this and we want to help but we can't create the aircraft right now we have our plate full okay then the i'm sure the community the entire community would just pile in on it and you'll start seeing people come together like they did with the hercules to create such an amazing aircraft that is community ran built and inspired for anything on it Okay, and RC, the pragmatic thinker as ever, bring us back down to earth. What do you what do you think about this uh, and anything you want to add? Uh, it's a good concept. I think that ED has, you know, a lot going on right now with all the planes they got developing and all the, the aspects of the, the core program. Um, so I think I just refer people to their third-party developer requirements and expect that you'd get a team together. And if you really want to do the module, you would get that team apply to be a third party and go from there and um, where do we find that can you remember where we find that information by the way it's on the forums um i don't remember where but if you go on the forums and look up third party developer i think you can find it right okay that's all i wanted to talk about so the key thing for me is just to be as positive as possible let's make as much stuff as we can and let's see how many people can get interested in it that's it really i'll see you later